Hi everyone, how are those future fathers and mothers doing? I'm Daisy, I'm a certified birth doula. Now, birth doulas, they have different passions aside from being birth doulas. Some are placenta encapsulators, others are Reiki masters, yoga instructors. I have a passion for breastfeeding and nutrition as well. So you will see me making videos about that. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about the most common reason for low milk supply. So, what do you think is the most common reason for low milk supply? The most common reason for low, actual low milk supply is a low star with breastfeeding. Now, what does it mean? It means that you didn't remove enough milk during the early days after birth. And the thing is that the amount of milk that you remove during those days after birth tells your breast how much milk you will be needing. And this is why it's very important to hang express or pump if your baby is not ready to nurse right after birth. So in this way, your breast will be ready and waiting with plenty of milk when your baby is able to nurse. So if this is your case, please follow the following recommendation. Express milk for about 15 minutes on each side every two to three hours or eight to 10 times every 24 hours. Now, if your baby is ready to nurse right after birth, then you shouldn't have any problem, especially if you feed your baby on demand. Remember, breastfeeding is a supply and demand system. So the more demand, the more your more milk your body will produce. So the more your baby nurses, the more milk your breast will make. Keep that in mind. I have already made a video about it, so I encourage to watch that video. Now, at the beginning, you will be needing um, just a little because your baby won't ask for much and you'll be getting just drops of colostrum the golden liquid and, and it is called like this because of his it's great nutritional value i have already made a video too about colostrum so i encourage you to watch that video as well so that will be enough for your baby now what might make new nursing mothers think they won't have enough milk Breasts get softer after a few weeks. Babies might sometimes be unsettled. Babies don't want to be put down between feet. But please listen to this careful. None of these are proof of low milk supply. Babies might sometimes be unsettled. Don't want to be put down between feet. It doesn't necessarily mean low milk supply. So as a general rule, you need to know this. If your baby is growing as expected, gaining at least 20 to 30 grams a day on average during the first three months, just on your milk, then your meal supply is fine. Now, if you didn't remove enough milk during those early days, you know, after birth, because your baby was not ready, uh, you know, to be nursed, then you know that your breast will make less milk. So now, is it possible to increase your meal supply 
if you didn't remove enough meal during those days, even if time has passed, yes, it is possible to increase your meal supply. And the earlier you start and the more energy you put into it, the higher your chances of increasing your meal production to some extent. Because unfortunately, there is no guarantee that you will make um, or, or being able, or you being able to make a full meal supply. But it is possible. And to be honest, more uh, most nursing uh, mothers can make more meal than they are making but you will not know until you try so please give it a try the benefits of breastfeeding to you and your baby are numerous so it is worth trying please give it a try there is always help I hope you like the video. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to start following me, please do not forget to subscribe and to activate the bell notification button as well so that you know every time that there is a new video. Until next time, I'm sending you last and lots of love.